The best surgery is the least invasive. Doctors are reducing scars and recovery times by using instruments conceived and designed by engineers like Adam Ross, who have placed amazing new tools in the hands of surgeons. I'm a design engineer and I work as part of a team. We manufacture all sorts of different surgical instruments, surgical tools, staplers, graspers, shears, all different kinds of instruments you'd find in a surgical suite. I'm working on prototypes, instruments for the future. So what I do is I'll go out to surgeons, we'll get feedback, listen to them, talk to them, see what they would need, what they would like to have in the OR suite that they don't currently have now. So like, where are we along here with the progress? Yeah, the progress is gonna be working right in this area. We'll come back and we'll start to do designs. Basically, we'll sit down at our computers, draw stuff up in CAD, sketch notebooks, we'll have brainstorming sessions. Once we do a design, we'll have it, we manufacture it here, we do the prototyping here, we'll take them out to surgeons again and get their feedback. Basically see what they like, what they don't like about it, and come back and we'll do it again until we get it perfect. It's definitely not the same thing every day. Uh, we're always doing something different. Allow us to hit the detail really close. As a kid, I always loved tearing things apart. I always loved understanding how things worked, why they worked. And you know, from an early age, I remember my mom telling me I used to take like a lamp apart and figure it out and take it all, you know, have all the parts disassembled and be, look what I made. Look what I, I figured out how this kind of works. The other thing is figuring out how to put it back together, and that was always a more complicated part. The safety latch is there to prevent the surgeon from pre-firing the instrument. But the thought of becoming an engineer was kind of something I grew up with. It, it always seemed to be part of what I did and part of what I enjoyed doing. I enjoyed my math classes, I enjoyed my science classes, I enjoyed physics quite a bit, and I enjoyed the lab portions of what I did. I enjoyed the hands-on. After I got out of school, I did start an internship here at Covidian, and through working and being able to show off what I could do, my skills, my different attributes, and it was able to turn into a full-time position. I think one of the big things is people skills. You gotta have good communication, so you have to be able to interact, understand, and be able to communicate effectively got to be good at math. There's plenty of math that's involved. Definitely have to be good at computers. That's what we do. A lot of what I do is based on the computer designs. I just enjoy the challenge of what I do. I enjoy the challenge of making this instrument work and I enjoy in the end being able to take it out and see it function. That's what gets me going in the day. When you can take the instrument you've worked on and you actually go and use it and see it being used and have it function properly and um, you know, when the surgeon says he loves it, he gets excited, that's right there, that's when you know you've done a good job.